Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Channeling is interesting. There are those who do not believe it is possible. And there are those are there are those who hang on every word. And the difference is the coherence that they feel between the information, the system of channeling, and their own consciousness. It's human to doubt things. It's humans to decipher. It's humans to be careful. Human nature would support all of this as you know it. Dear ones, there's going to come a time on this planet, literally, where this kind of thing or similar things will be intuitively accepted. And the reason for this is that there will be an energy felt, not a strange energy, not anything that is supernatural. When I say energy, it's, it's a sensory perception. Have you ever gone to a theater and sat next to a person and moved? Because you felt perhaps they were unbalanced or they were ill. And yet they didn't give any indication at all. You sensed it. Because that which is in your Merkaba senses theirs. And that's what I'm talking about. A time when the things that are being talked about today in all their strangeness or newness or esotericness will literally be accepted. Second nature. And that's going to require a human being who senses the dimensionality above them. Acknowledgement that three dimensions is living. It's going to the store. It's caring for your children. And that's just one facet of life. The acknowledgement that another dimension is there also and that every single human participates in all of them. Understood. Not just second nature, but innate to you. It starts now. In this shift, the basic teaching for all of you has begun. It begins slowly with those who will listen, with old souls who are already willing to awaken to this newness. The idea that perhaps light is starting to invade that place where there used to be none. A concept that has been taught forever but has to be owned for the first time. The concept is that what you think creates your reality. A concept that goes against all of your teaching, both spiritual and academic. A concept that says that you can change that which is around you because you are in charge of yourself. The old souls are perfect for this. That's who sits in front of me. That's who listens. Because an old soul has been through this at some levels already. You've made some decisions that would bring you to the chair to hear this channeling. And that particular first and second step to the acknowledgement that this is real, has already been done. But dear ones, we're talking about those who are not here and not listening and would never sit in a chair in a place like this. Who would laugh and scoff 
that the idea that a human being could sit and give information from that place which is multidimensional a place which almost everyone acknowledges on the planet the other side of the veil God spirit you acknowledge it but it's separate from you and so the real difference between that and what is coming is an acknowledgement that it's not separate from you now you know that listening it's not separate but how much of that do you practice and do you believe? The ultra uber spiritual human being has a habit of worship only on a day a week. And you live your life one way and that day is precious and sacred and you go and change your clothes. How you think, how you act, how you perceive things. And you kneel and you pray and you bow. This is the mode. This is the habit. This is the paradigm you see and have always seen for spiritual things. Even those who pray daily and regularly, even hourly, you still are separating yourself from God before you pray, after you pray, when you're not praying. The concept of integrating everything is what will become the newest concept on the planet. Integrating that which used to be separate, acknowledgement that perhaps you should have a hundred percent prayer all the time, but not prayer as you think. Instead of prayer, you acknowledge your best friend to come in with you, live with you, be with you. And the best friend is that from the other side of the veil. The one who knows you, the one who helped create you. Integration with a multidimensionality. Acknowledgement that there's something higher than you. That knows you and loves you and works with you. And is part of reality as much as that which is in 3D and going to the store. This is coming. Because this is what the planets go through like yours. You come to a shift like you've had. And start this kind of training. And start this kind of perception and realization. We've said before light is winning. And we're not really talking about that which is a battle between dark and light as much as the consciousness of the human beings who are starting to be aware of who they are and what they can do. A human is starts to be balanced enough to know I can change myself by my thoughts and my actions. But more than that, much more than that, I'm part of something bigger. You've talked about coherence. Coherence between the dimensions, perhaps. Coherence between you and the Creator, perhaps. You know about love. We talked to you about love last night. We started to isolate the kinds of love. We wanted to show and tell about the beauty of the greatest and grandest love in the universe. The love that the Creator has for that which you call yourself. And dear ones, this is one of the greatest stretches of intellect that there is. That you're not just a mammal walking on the planet. That you're not alone. How is it possible that billions of people can believe in the one God but not believe that it's real enough to be here or walk with you or know you. The one God becomes a judgmental father. The one God becomes something you have to please, something you have to please. There's not even an acknowledgement of the beauty of the personality and the compassion of the creator who built you and created you and put in you the the sacredness of a piece of itself. 
That is what's coming. And that is what's changing. It will be very interesting, will it not, when the children start to acknowledge this at such a young age when they're just starting to talk about where they've been, about how they felt, about the love of another mother. And they face you and all their innocence, barely able to talk. And say I like you as much as the last one. They may even refer to the master lover. Which is that which is the creator. Maybe it's the master mother. There will be some new terminology. The children will start. Coming up with which is from their own imagination. That starts to describe where they've been. What they've known. And it has to do with just how comfortable they are with where they were. It's an acknowledgement that there's something grander and greater than you, mom, dad, and that the child in front of you knows it at some level, innocent level, matter of fact level. Eventually that turns in to a planet who knows it. And God is no longer in the sky and separate. And you no longer report to a building on one day a week to show your respects for something you don't understand but you fear. And instead it becomes again your best friend. So for those listening right now and sitting in front of me, the question is this, why wait? Why wait? You may have come to this meeting say, I understand these things. These were good things, but it's a review. I am there. I understand it. It's good. But I'm going to tell you this, dear ones, because I know who you are. Listening, wherever you are, I know this. You really haven't taken the real step. Not really. Coherence of integration. The coherence of you and the creator of you inside you to such a degree that you walk out of here without fear knowing a bigger picture not being alone knowing you can change yourself knowing you can heal yourself and knowing absolutely that you're taking the hand of a best friend a hand that's always been with you every single lifetime for eons It comes and goes in your life and the miracles show up and they vanish and you look at them and you say wouldn't it be great if I could see another one not understanding that the true miracle is the integration between you. You have a 24 7 miracle. And you start to come out of the darkness and the doldrums of life that some of you are still in even though you sit in the room not knowing that there is massive amount of light just for the taking this is practical information and you can do it with your own consciousness and thought and belief and you can cognize what you wish meaning you can believe in what you wish that is the free choice and you can believe in fear you can believe that nothing will ever get better that is your choice and while you simply believe in the darkness, there will be light all around you. And there'll be that creator that created you, who stands next to you saying, it's your choice. This is the profundity of free choice for humans. And what it means to spirit is the fact that humans chose to go through this shift because more of them than not are starting to sense this multidimensionality that they have. I'm not going to bore you yet again with information I've given you many times. You're not the first civilization on the planet. The ones before you did not figure it out. The ones before you destroyed themselves and you will have evidence of that eventually. You've been here longer than you think and you participated in some of those destroyed themselves events. 
as you approach this that millennium shift the procession of the equinoxes as you approached it there actually was a consciousness that saw it coming and we're afraid of it here it is again it's not going to work this time just like it didn't work last time and regarding the channels and all the things it didn't matter because the fear and the remembrance of what you did before was greater than the light that accompanied it with good news and only since you went through it did you start to believe perhaps that this planet could carry something that it never carried before a maturity a growth an evolution of consciousness and now you start to see things you never saw before groups of people measuring consciousness science which is interested in detecting consciousness and defining it science that is starting to then combine it with physics and say it has to be a player with physics because it affects physics that's new it's just the beginning but you see it in this group in this conference in this place today you saw it ways of measuring the coherence between individuals or perhaps the coherence inside a human being how happy they are with themselves so let me tell you where that's going turn the page when my partner was very young he went to a meeting that he'll never forget one in Los Angeles he was taken there by his church 6,000 people were in a large auditorium to see one person there was a lot of excitement about that one person because that woman was known to be a healer but not just a healer the one woman was known to be able to perform miracles on a regular schedule wheelchairs were lined up to come inside for those to be healed the woman was so certain of what was going to happen that she'd invited doctors from the area to be on stage and check out the ones that would be healed a hush came over the audience and finally it was ready to begin and after a short message that seemed to be actually incoherent <laughs> she began the process and one by one people would come up who were selected randomly there was just too many to service all at once and one by one the audience got to experience miracles my partner had brought with him in his car a crippled woman that the church knew all about he knew all about knew her name knew her condition and watched her actually become crippled through the years she was the one of the ones selected she came in her wheelchair and approached the woman who had aides around her who helped facilitate the energy that was taking place the audience of 6,000 people was so hushed you could hear a pin drop you couldn't hear anybody breathe but what you could hear and it was beginning to spread around the, the group was sobbing people were crying at the beauty of what they were witnessing in that place with all those people the woman touched the cripple the one that my partner had brought in his car with the adults and she got up out of the chair he went home with her 
and she wasn't crippled again. This was the miracle he saw as a young man that impressed him that God was real. But the process was a mystery. And now I'll reveal some of it to you. It's called coherence. When 6,000 people all believed that they were going to see miracles from the one who also believed they were possible, they were there over and over and over and over all day long. Children walked when they didn't walk. People saw that didn't see. And my partner never spoke about it because it was from the church. And he wasn't part of that when he started channeling. But now he sees what he's part of is the humanism that created it. God inside, 6,000 people in full, 100% coherence, created the miracles together. That's what you saw. So how about you do it now? And how about you do it again in a time where there's so much light and the few can do it together? And the miracles will be here. How about the miracle here today? How about three of them here today? How about all of them here today? When you become so coherent of expectation of what is possible that everyone leaves healed, that's where it's going. And someday there will be meetings just for that reason. For those that are not quite on board with the coherence of a multidimensional God. Will come and the group in coherence will facilitate a healing. And it's all done with consciousness. Not one bit of chemistry is involved. No pills. Nothing. All it takes is 100% coherence of those who know how it works. It took 6,000 believers who were sobbing with the reality of what they saw. That was them cognizing that which was taking place. And all of them, unless they were asleep, all of them left that building knowing God is real. And there's something more here than just human beings. That's the kind of belief it's going to take. Without the sobbing. <laughs> you know it before you get there. You expect it. And it's not going to be with one healer. It's going to happen in a togetherness of cognization. In a system you haven't even seen yet. A system of healing that groups will do with groups. You'll be able to do it in long distance. It's going to sweep the planet when it starts. It's going to turn everything upside down with everything you've been told is God. And it will accelerate a beautiful system. It will not eliminate systems, dear ones. It's going to enhance them. Do you hear that? It's a win-win for religion. For religion is truly on board with the love of God. And all they will do is to then work it into what they already believe and enhance it and see that it's available for all the other religions. You'll have them meld together in cooperation. There'll be a coherence of love. And the various systems of religion will not necessarily be dissolved into one. They simply will understand that each one serves the same purpose on the planet of awareness of the beauty of the love of God. They can keep much of what they believe. They simply rearrange it in a way that is beautiful. It enhances it doesn't tear it down, doesn't eliminate it. This is the maturity and the wisdom of what's coming. Different than you think. Because of the coherence that you saw today on the screen that is possible even with one human being. This is where it begins. The story is real. My partner didn't expect it ever to be told. 
not like this but when you start looking at where coherence is going and the study and the science of it and what is possible with humanity I had to tell you what's possible with humanity I've seen it before other worlds have gone through it and it's not going to be quick but I just gave you a sneak peek today of what is possible with consciousness and what may be next for you if you choose that with free choice of each of the human hearts in the room why not now what are you going to do with the information and is it valid that's the basic choice you have do you leave have a nice meal and forget it or do you leave differently than you came so differently then you will someday point to this meeting and that's this is where I realized it this is where it made sense this is where I took the hand of the God inside that I really didn't understand was there you'll remember it all your life if that's you it's a good day for coherence and so it is